Clubs like this have been used all over America for hundreds of years. However, the designs will vary from region to region. For example, in the Southwest, a lot of times they just use stones. The stones were wrapped in buckskin and then later attached to a handle. But in the Northeast, tribes like the Huron, Iroquois, and Mohican used wood. A lot of the clubs were made from tree roots that naturally grew into a ball. Later, when they started trading for steel, they implemented it into the design in the form of studs and spikes and also pins for decoration. Not too long after, however, the Indians were introduced to rifles and the war club was forgotten. This war club isn't meant to be historically accurate in any way. I just thought it'd be a fun project and I used my own design. All right, so what I got here is two pieces of red oak that's uh, one inch thick, 24 inches long, and five and a half inches wide. I drew up a simple pattern on both of them. These are gonna get laminated together and form the finished club. So right now I'm gonna cut them out and then we're gonna glue them together. these two sets together um, I'm gonna use tight bond original wood glue and you're gonna need a lot of clamps uh, you can't have too many when you're doing something like this Now I'm ready to glue these two panels to the top portion of the club. Um, I marked up all the sides that are going to be facing each other with an angle grinder so that they bond better. I did a little bit of shaping to the handle, but um, when the glue is dry on the top, I'll work on that more. I have a long ways to go with that yet. It's all glued up. Now, um, I have a lot of sanding to do on this thing yet. I need to get this whole thing completely round, and then I'm gonna work on the handle until that uh, looks the way I want it to. I'm gonna use an 80 grit flap sander on the angle grinder.
last time to drill the holes for the spikes and for the studs. The studs are going to be three quarter inch lengths of nail clipped right before the head. And those are going to be the small holes on the outside here. And the big spike is going to be a piece of 7 16 inch rod that's uh, one and a half inches long. That's going to be the big one in the middle. So I'm going to drill all the holes for those and uh, seat them with epoxy. Give that about 24 hours to dry and then I'm going to wrap the hand. Okay, now it's time to wrap the handle, and I have about three feet of paracord here. I took the insides out so that it lays flatter. Um, I'm going to start about five inches up on the handle and work my way down, and as I'm wrapping it, I'm going to be putting epoxy on the handle so that it can't unravel once it's dry. 